Okay, what's up everyone? It's a lot of sweetness 2011 and I have another easy Kemp how-to tutorial. Now this tutorial was requested by Amanda Atrophy and she wanted to know how to make a person in an image that she has or something like that, how to make that person look more tan. So I chose an a image off the internet like you see here and just copied and pasted it into GIMP and it made its own layer. Now what you want to do is just duplicate that layer and just for security purposes because it's always good to have the original image handy. Now with this duplicated layer what you want to do is right click that layer and make sure add alpha channel is always on it. It's always good to have that. And then right click it again and go to alpha to selection. Now what you want to do is go to your free select tool and click that and change the mode to replace the current selection. Make sure feathered edges is checked and the radius at 3. Now that just depends. The radius could go up or down depending on the size of your image. And I'm going to make selection around here just really quick. and okay let's say you made this selection here after making that one selection after making that go back up to your free select dialog box and change the mode to add to the current selection that way you can make another selection in here like so. Now I'm going to step off of here for a second and I'm going to make a selection okay, around I'm these back areas. And I made these selections like you see here. I didn't make a selection around the eyes and the mouth because you can actually go through and erase that on this duplicated layer. It's no big deal. But now what you want to do with it selected with all these lines selected like so. Now what you want to do is click your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is a brown color. The brown color is just for the overlay to give the appearance and see uh, the appearance that she's more tan than she really is. Uh, but make sure the foreground color is the dark brown or whatever and Make sure that the foreground color fill is selected and fill whole selection is selected also. And just fill that selection in like so. Now what you want to do is go to select none. And then go with that layer selected go to your layer mode and change the layer mode to overlay. And let's say for instance I'll show you what she looked like before what she looked like before was this and now she's this more tan without changing the the color of anything else but her skin itself now let's say for instance we didn't want that brown on her teeth so we'll go back up to this layer this duplicated layer with that brown tan on it and we'll zoom in on that so you can see it a little bit better on the teeth and what we'll do is just take the erase tool and make sure you change the brush to a the largest fuzzy brush that you have which is there on the there by default Kemp gives everyone that by default and just pick the largest one and obviously turn down the scale and just scale it down scale it up to whatever it is you need to do and you can just bring that erase the teeth like so erase the brown off the teeth so it looks a little bit more appealing nobody wants brown teeth do they I doubt it now once you have that about where you want it, I'll just stick with that. Now we want to go back up to the eyes and we want to 
bring that white back around these eyes right here you want to bring that back in so I'll make this a little bit smaller and I'll go through here and erase some of that brown on the eye and the pupil itself too that's always good and I'm gonna scale this back up just a little bit and make this a little quicker and once you have that erased like you want it let's say that's good enough now I'm gonna zoom back out And all you really have to do here is just use the fuzzy brush and the eraser tool and just blend these tan lines, I guess you would say. Uh, every woman would hate that, I guess, but I see a lot of them with it. The tan lines, just kind of to blend that in a little bit more. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you create a more tan look on an image in GIMP. And note that please do not send comments saying that you made a girly video or something of that I'm only doing this videos because only doing this video because a subscriber asked for it so please just kinda cut down on some of that but I can't stop everyone so so I guess have at it I guess but anyway that's how you create a more tan look for a image in GIMP Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.